Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's everybody doing today? It's the man child. Okay, so we got some more spawn. Uh, we got the new Soul Crusher. Yeah, I don't know a lot about this guy. Um, he came with so pretty much I pre-ordered was from the wave the, the series two rather of his new Spawn figure line. Uh, he came with two other figures if you pre-order from McFarlane Toy Store, which I did. He came with the Dark Redeemer, the Gunslinger Spawn, which I did reviews on him already. Well, yeah, getting this guy in hand with that, I'm like, oh, okay, he's pretty it's different. Um, so as far as a bio, he was a mysterious scarred figure of some wealth and power. <laughs> that's all I read. So I read about him, and I remember seeing an image of him. He was in a library or something like that, one of the comic books one time. But again, you can leave it in the comments. But he looks cool in hand, so let's check him out. And yeah, obviously this is the front of our box. Looks like he comes with a pistol, some type of M4 style weapon, and maybe a comic book color scheme, and just a figure stand. I don't, I don't see anything else in there. There's our back. Nothing special. Just pick a you know a picture of the actual figure. I like this background though. It's pretty cool with the uh, hills and a graveyard with the fog like that. I like how he did that. And this is the side. Um, yeah, that just looks like the original art where the figure came from. All right, we got him out of box. Um, yeah, kind of creepy looking. Uh, mysterious to say the least. I, you know, in hand, he's pretty cool. I didn't know. Uh, it's not not a guy I would normally pick up because I'm in more of the creatures and monsters and stuff like that. But I don't know. He kind of reminds me of some kind of like, yeah, mysterious, I don't know, power military bounty hunter kind of vibe he has or something. Yeah, check out that head. That's pretty cool now. Yeah, there's always something scary about a guy with a gas mask. Uh, now, the gas mask looks like it's all sculpted. I don't see any way that it doesn't look like it comes off. It's all sculpted part of the head. And the hood, I like this material, by the way. It's like some kind of old burlap, something from an old burlap sack or something, um, but in green. The hood looks like if you wanted to get it off, you could. So you can get your kind of your finger all the way back there, but it seems, feels like it's more or less glued onto the, you know, the head itself. But anyway... Now, it is this individual piece. feels like if you wanted to, yeah, I see, uh, without getting too involved, you could probably pop this whole, you know, the head itself off the whole, that part of the hood. I'm just going to leave it on. But, um, obviously, it's on some type of ball peg, so can't really spin much. You can go left to right that far because of the hose and just the whole, how it's all set up. And you only going to go forward and back about that far. Nothing special. But I do like that. It's creepy. And with our arms, you can go out because of this cloak type thing he's wearing um go out about that far down you know down and up you can go forward back again it's gonna be hindered by this is soft by the way too it's not it is thick and actually kind of heavy but for what it is and go up all the way like that so you can bring your arm back and all right we got the uh, on a double like a hinge joint in there with the elbows mcfarlane's known for and you can also spin at the hand and hands on also ratchet that feels like another hinge joint going in and out and as far as her body, I like all these different sculpt, just the sculptings and aesthetics on the body. Check that out. It's got like body armor, some pouches up here, all kinds of cool straps and you know, little uh, utility pouches. Now everything's sculpted to the body feels like. Well, this moves. Okay. Some of it moves. Well, maybe you can get some of it off if you wanted to, if you want to customize. Um, As far as now with the, now he, you know, okay, he still does have the ab crunch. Okay. Do that like that. More or less forward back. And he spins at the ab crunch, but I can't really get him to spin at the waist because of the belts and all the stuff is, you know, sculpted on him. And as far as our legs, they can go all the way out. It's cool articulation. Got bolt. Looks like ratchet joints in here or something. Um, yeah, same thing. Just really, really unique. You got now this side has a holster for the handgun. I'll show you soon. It's pretty cool. Looks like it's all, yeah, that's all sculpted on. I yeah, okay. That, to me anyway. Uh, yeah, some cool knee pads. Uh, as far as the articulation, you can go all the way back, forward, um, and le the legs can also go forward and back, too. So you got the boots all the way down here. Uh, it's sculpting. I don't know if it spins. No, it just spins at the foot. And then does have, can go up and down, also has toe articulation. The other side is very much the same. Aside, you have just a couple different pouches. Looks like something for maybe the rifle or handgun. But, uh, yeah, everything else, I don't see anything else different. Here's a look at the back. Yeah, again, that cape is awesome. I love the texture on it. I like the paint. Pretty cool now. Like I said, it's soft. comes all the way up. This is uh, just the, uh, what's underneath it. Pretty, here's where the hose comes around. It looks like his, I guess, oxygen supply. It's all sculpting from the armored. Okay, and just everything looks like back there. Um, kind of gives me a little, little bit of a Mortal Kombat 3 Cabal vibe somewhat, if you're familiar with that character. He had a different mask, but I, just the whole hose is set. I don't know, something about it. And just to make an example, that is, I actually have, well, this is a Mortal Kombat 11 Cabal from also McFarlane. Um, 
Yeah, totally different, but just something about he also has a fit auction mask and you know he has a supply lines on both sides. Different redesign from MK3, but I don't know, just something mysterious about it. Maybe you could switch the heads off or the cape you want to and customize them. Put the swords in hand, but I I, I don't know. It's something I like. I like how they go together. And as far as accessories, comes with this cool, uh, just a basic pistol. It's like some type of 45 caliber or something like that. And going back to the holster from earlier, this pistol's just gonna go fit right in there like that, right? Go in and out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> makes me feel like a kid again. You know, the days when you had GI Joes or some type of figure where yeah, they had a pistol or something that actually worked coming out of a holster or a knife. <laughs> I was always fascinated by stuff like that. And here's the last accessory. It's a M4, M16 style weapon. Um, it's not like truly accurate to the gun. I mean, it does look cool. Something looks like it come out of the Spawn comic book universe. It has a bayonet, some type of red dot scope up top. It's wacky magazine coming all the way down. It looks like it's supposed to be a grenade launcher, but it's not. It doesn't make sense because it tapers down up here or something. Maybe it's, maybe it's supposed to be a laser or a plasma weapon. I'm not really sure, but it's cool. It fits. And, of course, all the figures come with these typical spawn stands. Like I said, I don't use them. I use the Kaiser, but they do give them to you. All right, give them a final look around, right? We got the pistol drawn, and we got the M4 rifle up in up at the shoulder hip. Uh, yeah, I think he's pretty cool. I think he looks like a cool uh, monster spawn hunter or something like that. So, overall, that's my review on the new spawn Soul Crusher. Um, I'm kind of glad I got him, to be honest. He, he did come part of that three-figure wave that I pre-ordered originally, and I wasn't something I normally pick up because he he's just not monster creature-like. But I think it's always fun, you know, to have uh, yeah, some type of spawner monster hunter in your collection. That's what it reminds me of. The guns are cool. I like the body armored. The overall look. The gas mass is, you know, over the top. Creepy. And his cape and cloak alone sells it for me. So he's showing up in targets now, I heard. so, And I don't think he's that expensive. So you want to add a figure like this to your collection for something mysterious and different, go pick one up. So I hope that answers all your questions. I hope everybody's doing great. And until next time, take care.